Hello guys, it is that pin again I'm here again with another video and today we are looking at the matchmaking once again and we're going to talk about I guess B1 through 10 if I'm feeling like it I might go a little bit further down I don't know um, I will talk about something that was recently figured out I guess the matchmaking how it's determined is the top or, you know the people within the top 300 rings are who are determined for the overall you know matchmaking and all that and I guess it also might have something to do with activity possibly i might be wrong there so maybe let's say um your rank uh 300 is not an active account maybe you pass on to the next one i'm not sure how that exactly that works but i guess they measure it off of that they measure it off of um also your region age so it's a little bit more fair and they're not matching like region for with region 100 right and i understand not wanting to screw them over but then again like it's it's kind of hard to make the matchmaking perfect so i can't really blame the devs i think it's gotten way better especially with the uh tweaks but i just wanted to talk about that also i go into these videos guys and i feel so weird doing these bracket reviews because i feel like it's so hard to determine if people are actually going to stay and defend their region because so many people just find it worthless at this point i wish there was a way to dodge the select the matchmaking selection and all that but it's kind of stupid also they changed the whole strength rating i don't know how that works but it was like i don't know it's, they've multiplied it that being said, we're going to hop right into it. So B1 is Boon, R4, all of us here. Um, Region 3, you know, RPG, and 16 with HMB and all that. I, it's probably going to be like a 2v1. I mean, most likely, pretty obviously, a 2v1 against uh, R4. But I don't really expect much from this bracket. Like, some people are expecting a lot. I honestly am not expecting a lot. I know I said this about Island Raid, but I really don't expect a lot from dark seal more so i don't expect some tough fights i mean i expect some like you know zeros and stuff obviously as per usual i just don't expect nothing crazy to go on maybe i'll be shocked again but yeah i don't i don't really expect much i i would i would guess that r3 would evacuate their zone same with 16 you know i think it's the same for any region like even us right we're evacuating our zone we get rid of all our smaller players or try to maybe leave only our 100 mils or just people who are capable of getting hit or, you know, who are actually online. So overall, I don't really, I can't really say much here. I would expect us to win, to be fair, in the whole glory point thing, just because it's a 2v1. That is, you know, the only reason I would really say that we'd win. And that's because, you know, obviously we're spreading points. From what I heard, uh, 16 is going to take 3's Metro. Maybe that's just so they can pass us up. I don't really know. And honestly, I don't really care because... I don't I don't care how this event goes. Uh B2 it's 9, 10 and 12. So 9 we got hot and all them 10 we got nts and then 12 i think this is the fox federation right we got the fox federation i feel kind of bad for fox as this is literally all they've been getting they they only get region 10 they only get ancs it's honestly brutal man also shout out to my boy rox he is a freaking big poppy chulo guy but either way i don't really know how the alignments will work there i thought that 10 was gonna be friendly with nine but they didn't last time so maybe 10's just gonna free for all both regions i guess gonna have to see how that goes as well don't really know there b3 we got nwo in region five six is like mob and dnt or dbn and then we got seven here uh i think I don't even know how to pronounce the freaking tag here, but from what I heard, it's a pretty friendly, um, I guess, three-way, right? Because all these, you know, I, I think Seven's like one of these uh, regions you don't hear a lot about, but I know about them. They're a pretty friendly group. I've not really had any issues with them. They're not really toxic, and that's generally how it works with these uh with, with some of these some of these regions, right? And I feel like Seven's that way. I feel like um, Five would be that way, right? What, what freaking bracket am I looking? I feel like five would be the same way. I don't really think I've heard anything toxic from them. I don't hear like trash talk. And I mean six, you probably hear a bit more trash talk if I'm being for real. But it's not really like bad, bad. You know, all these people are pretty friendly with each other. So you're probably not really going to see much here. I don't really care who wins this bracket. Next is B4. Four. So we got 15, we got 18, and we got 26. So 26 is BTW, 18 has AC18, and then 15 are a few top alliances. I think it's like Arkham and Soap, which Soap, I think, changed their name. Or I guess they changed their tag back. I don't know why they changed it before, but 
you know, you got Soap here and Arkham. Um, I mean, these guys aligned with us. I know BTW is with like HMB and ANTS, so I'm assuming that it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be everybody against BTW, right? That's what I'm gonna be assuming. I mean, BTW is probably gonna win in glory points simply because of that. You know, I feel like it's always this way, or generally this way. If you're two v oneing a region and they're capable of fighting both the regions or getting like I guess you know, capable enough to zero people and get points, generally that region is going to come out on top because you just, you're, you're kind of spreading those points between your two fighter regions that are attacking them. And overall, even if you win, I guess you lose sort of since, you know, I feel like kill points are what makes the reward tier. So even if you're allying with the region, it's not like you're really benefiting in any way. I don't really care if I lose my Metro, so I don't think losing Metro is that big a deal, even if they lost it. Um... Though I will say real quick that BTW really strong, so I expect them to be able to just kind of put up a really good fight and just kind of make it tough for those two. Next is 14, 17, and 19. Right off the bat, I see 14 here. 14 just, I, I don't want to call them weak, but I, I think a 13 in this regard, and I mean 13 does have more whales ever since um I guess some people moved in there, but 14 is kind of in the same situation as I would have compared them. I feel like 14 doesn't really have whales or they don't have a lot of spenders. You know, a lot of them are just free to play. It's a much older region. And I would say it's the same for region one, for example, you know, like uh, they're not whales there. You know, a lot of these players are just much older players. And, you know, obviously like this MGM dude probably spent a bit more than the average player here, but he's the top player in this region at 100 million might. Just in general, in these brackets, I find 14 to be kind of put in a bad situation. That's one thing I have an issue with, the whole region age thing. Because, you know, obviously 14, most of the players can't really put up a fight against, you know, for example, 17. This is with KL, I think they renamed to like tap or something like that, right? Yeah, tap. I don't, you know, the thing is, like, obviously, Kale and all these alliances here, I think Spec as well, you got a ton of top 100 mil dudes, and they're good fighters, you know, overall. So I think, obviously, these guys are a formidable foe. And fighting them for 14 is just pointless. There's no reason to defend Metro. There's no reason to stay in mid. It's going to be the exact same matchup as when they fought us last time, and I think they should just abandon, you know? 19 also in the kind of same situation i think 19 is pretty decent i you know i it's hard to say because i feel like 19 is one of those uh above average regions for sure but i don't think they have like um they're not obviously with a ton of whales nine billion alliance but overall they're still a really strong group have a pretty good amount of whales pretty good fighters so overall i feel like it's really 17 and 19 that are making up this bracket and where you're going to see the main action i i would honestly assume that 17 trumps them in this bracket i feel like there's way more whales in 17 you also see just the combat strength is higher and even if 14 tried to help 19 i don't really see 14 being able to do much right it's just not really not really much of a point uh, I think the best thing they can do is maybe try to send their 100 mil guy and just bait hits, <laughs> you know, just get some kills and points that way. B6 is with region 13, 20, and 22. So, honestly, I know about these regions, but I'm also, like, they're more more foreign to me than not. So, region 13, I definitely know about. They got, I mean, I think they kicked out the alliance that everybody was mostly against here. So the thing is, I think that they're going to be more so finally united. So hopefully we'll see them fight, maybe. You know, hopefully Region 13 is able to start fighting together. And you'll see them fighting in Dark Seal finally. I mean, obviously their opponents are pretty hard. I don't know. You know, X4 here is 6.4 billion. I think... I think Region 13 and X War, like, uh, and, you know, Region 20, probably more close in, like, Combat Might. I would say Region 13 definitely wins in numbers, if you had to ask me, like, number wise, and maybe Combat wise, probably a bit stronger. I think a lot, uh, Lost. Yeah, Lost overall strong. I don't know about the region. I don't think I really take a look at the region here. So 3 billion, you know, overall, I think a uh, loss is pretty strong. This bracket's honestly way more balanced. I think there's just probably more whales here, maybe. That would be the only thing. Maybe like, so region 22, I would say is maybe slightly above the other two. And then you have uh, region 13, probably second place if you had asked me. And then I would say region 20 is maybe up last in the um, 
whole fighter ranking, you know, 22, it, it's kind of hard to say, right, because 13 obviously could just overwhelm with numbers if they wanted, I don't know, guys, you guys, I, I always do these reviews, by the way, and I feel kind of stupid, <laughs> I feel kind of stupid, you guys tell me if you just, you, you don't care anyways, you just like listening, because I feel like a lot of you guys don't care, and you just like hearing, hearing me, hearing my freaking, uh, I don't even know, hearing me talk like a lunatic, so we got fine in region 8, it should be region 8, 11, and then 40, fine, pretty strong group, you know, you got my, my Boo Thanga series here, love the guy, um, I'd actually just have to check the other region, I think 11, the only issue I find with them is, like, I just don't think that they're the biggest fighters, you know, overall, so even if AOW here is, like, 8.4 billion, I don't really think in a 1v1 they'd beat fine, if I'm being fair, yeah, I don't know if that's being a little toxic, but I just don't think that they could be fine, you know, and most of this region is, I, I, I don't really look the other alliances when I look at 11, I mean, obviously they're here, but you also got to consider AOW just populates the whole middle, so it's like, what can you really do, and either way, I think that fine is already top place, you know, region 11, probably second there. I, in region 40, the biggest issue is probably region age. Let me collect this real quick, guys. <laughs> um, region 40, the biggest issue is region age. And they just lack the whales, you know. I think, uh, what, the top line should be 4 billion. I mean, even if they're spread here, I don't think it matters too much. I think that what they could do is maybe defend Metro. If they're able to get some help from another alliance, they can maybe swarm, swarm into the Metro and just keep filling it if somebody rallies. You know, I think the top dude here is a... Lord Vader, he's a big old beast, so if he's able to just sit in Metro and people feel that, I don't really see an issue here, but obviously I think 40 is by far the weakest in that bracket with with um, Region 8 being on top. Okay, we're already at B, B8, okay? I didn't think we went down that fast, so we got 21, 27, and 28, and I'm going to be honest, guys, I know sometimes I've actually looked at these regions, like a 27 and 28 i probably looked at them before but sometimes i just forget you know there's some regions that are more notable to me like region 21 i know that um i guess indy 21 i keep i keep thinking of their old name tag you know i always like these guys pretty good group of fighters and all that so overall i think that region 21's always in a good spot when they're put in their bracketing but yeah at 8 billion right now they got a pretty good group of whales and i mean they got a little bit of middle middle presence there. I think it was 27 and 28. 27. Let me let me see this. D Day. Yeah. So D Day definitely. 27 is definitely in a worse situation. Like fighting um, 21. I feel like 21 would overwhelm Metro. Because the thing is, even if you have um, you're able to hold the Metro in general. The biggest issue for me is, are you even able to fill it? You know, because at some point, I think that the thing is, your trades get so bad if you're not able to keep that thing full. Like, let's say you start at 3 million troops, you're not able to keep filling that thing. Well, if you were able to keep filling that thing, I think generally, you know, the trades are going to be better. But if they're able to maintain field control, you're going to trade really bad once that metro gets under 1 million troops, and it just slowly gets worse and worse and worse. And the lethality rates are going to be getting so bad. And that's why, even if you think that you're strong, if you can't control the field or you aren't, like, believing that you can control the field or you can even fill this metro and keep it topped off there's basically no point you know if you had to ask me there's no point for you to overall try to try to defend it or even fill it up you know at that point you just give it up you don't even try to defend it all right now we're gonna look at 28 not looking bad um but i think overall i 21's obviously the winners i think that 28 is probably second in this bracket if you had to ask me i think they're probably up next and then you have 27 right but 21 definitely dominant here they're probably gonna have a blast i think i think those regions just honestly evacuate middle that's how i think most regions should mostly do it unless you think that it's kind of a fair matchup and you can uh, maybe overwhelm them all right so we got two here i'll look at two last because i i know the general understanding of them i i know two i think they're actually the weakest in this bracket by the way <clears throat> so for 36 here we got lm4s and overall pretty pretty strong group i kind of like this profile picture let me just 
All right, and you know, they got a few whales here. We'll see, we'll see about 42. 42, the thing is, 42 is just too strong for this bracket, if you had to ask me. I don't think the other alliances really could change much here. But, you know, I don't think they're weak, but I think 42 is gonna be vastly stronger, right? Um, but 36, probably second place. 42, I already know the general situation. Like, you have Nude here. Nude has a lot of whales. And, you know, the thing is, I, I already know these guys fight. I already know these guys are fighters. So, overall, I don't really have anything to say. You know, if you, if you watch Island like I do, you'll know what, what alliance is generally a fighter. Because even if you have five 200 mil players, it won't matter if you're fighting an alliance with three 200 million players. Because the people... Like, if, if your five 200 mil players only have 1 million kills, what the heck are they contributing, you know? And then you're fighting the dudes who all have, I don't know, 100 million kills. It's just not really going to bring much. And two, worst situation here, you know, you'll look at Doom and you'll be like, oh, they're not that small. But, you know, a lot of these guys aren't whales, obviously. I don't think any of these guys are whales. Zoloft, maybe the, maybe the, maybe the only person you could consider a whale there more so dolphin the rest are just old players and a lot of these are farmers as well so region two <coughs> i'm sorry if you guys uh, just like screamed you freaking coughed in the mic like that but region two definitely in the worst spot there i think they'll get their metro snatched like i think 36 could honestly beat them i don't care about the strength gap i think 36 overall is probably stronger and more organized B10 is 60, 96, and 99. And honestly, this bracket, nothing needs to be said, guys. Nothing needs to be said. You got 60, you got... Because, like, 60, dude, I don't... You know, obviously, you're not weak. What do you do, though? Like, you, what what do you do versus 96, you know? Most of these brackets, it's, it's like putting, like, um... I don't know, 4, 16, or 10 in your bracket. It's like, what do you do against these guys? D checks already at 7.3 billion my kind of crazy for region 96 alliance you look at all these dudes these guys are freaking beasts even like their 90 mils or 70 mils look at their gear ah it's wow well, this one this one was not a good example <laughs> you look at their gear and most of them have uh purples or blues overall they're just they're they're beastie bunch right and it's not like they're scared to fight and then you have uh, I think it was 99, or am I tripping? I'm about to, let me check again so I'm not getting this mess wrong. Uh, we'll look through a few more, because I'm feeling like, okay, so it was 99. 99, I think I checked them out. I think they do have whales, actually, if I'm right. Yeah, core. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't see them uh, on, this board i was assuming that 96 might be up here but no either way i you know they're not weak and for a newer region like 99 obviously this is a pretty good alliance over 5 billion might they have some good whales honestly these guys could probably defend their metro if they really tried hard enough but i don't think it'd be worth it overall like just the overwhelming pressure might be too much um let me see because is cores on their board it's like from well, I can't even see if this is enemies or not. Okay, but yeah, okay. So we don't, I don't really see, I don't know. But I'm assuming that they're going to fight 99 either way. And we're going to look at some more brackets just because I feel like it. And you know what? If you guys don't want to watch, you can just leave. Uh, B11, we got my poor region 1 here. They're probably going to get smacked. I feel kind of bad. You know, you got region 1. Ugh. Uh, it brings a tear to my eye. Yeah, we got B12, 38, 43, 48. I'm not super... Uh, 43 and 48, that's what I'll look at next. I'm not... Okay, so these guys actually just kicked somebody for me. So uh, that's actually kind of awkward. Um, but, yeah, at least let me see this. Let me let me have a little looky here. DBN, kind of, kind of weird seeing that here. Uh, all right. So we got we got what two two decent sized alliances. I wouldn't be going back to my thing here if I had freaking remembered it. I just said in my head. Okay, thirty four. Wait, no, 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 not here. Okay, forty three and forty eight. We'll look at these now. We'll see. We'll see who we think are gonna dominate in this bracket. And I mean, these guys haven't poured it out yet, so that kind of tells you their general understanding on this bracket, how they feel. They probably feel confident and they're cocky. And they have big balls right now, big cha-chas. You got Land Shark. Okay, Land Shark. I already know this dude's a monster. Okay, I don't 
think they're going to have an issue holding their Metro. I think that these guys should be fine. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of matched up to to 38 or whatever. I think 38's kind of at a loss here, though, fighting um 43. Probably better off defending. 48. Let's check this one out. Okay, 48. A bunch of 2 billion alliances. A little bit rough. A little bit rougher. I mean... It's not like they don't have whales, you know? Honestly, I think this bracket's pretty balanced. I, I think, like, I think that if I had a, I don't know, if I had a wager, I think that 38, maybe second here, uh, 43, like, first strongest, and 48, probably last, which, you know, kind of reasonable. I, I think it'd be kind of close between them and 38, though, so I can't really say much. All right, uh... I don't really know much about these other brackets. I don't know much about these alliances. You got region 100 here. Obviously going to dominate wherever they go. Kind of rough though. You know, you got the, the strength here. You know, the strength gap is kind of rough. You know, you see that 9, nine billion might versus the 5.8 and 5.7. That's kind of sad. I would cry just slightly. You'll notice that they're matching generally closer region ages, like 47, 50, 52. I think, like, they're trying to uh, still balance it on, like, might. So, like, if you got a bunch of whales on 102 year, they're trying to pair it with, like, 45 and 61 who might not have as many whales. At least that's what I'm guessing. But they're still strong enough to combat or their overall, like, just combat strength between their top 300 members just too strong and I guess you know they have to suffer they have to suffer lose a round and maybe drop yeah but you'll see like a lot of the older regions get paired together first I think this is mostly due to the heroes and stuff which I mean it's rough but you'll it'll be a while before you see like region 100 fighting region 4 probably in like island raid or dark seal at least that's what I'm assuming unless there's like just they eventually close that strength gap and they're like all right we need it we need dhx to get a beating because <laughs> because they're too strong they won too much and uh, yeah i think these are a lot of the new newer regions now oh all right all right i'm gonna end the video here i'm probably i'm just scrolling at this point just checking them out i do appreciate you guys though i hope you guys enjoyed my commentary and yeah, that is it to the video though, and you guys have a great day or night though, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.